See, this island's pretty cool, right? It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... Yeah. What? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? Uh, I... he's just a guy? What else would he be? No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Well, at least you seem cool. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Uh, I guess she... Yeah, I, um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a, uh, miscount on the way back. So we can spend the night. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. So, how do it's you a know recording. Him? They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. <sighs> Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. He there! Great! I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry.
Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Being polite, you should try it sometime. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. Or... <laughs> it's okay, never mind. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, uh what could you possibly have to say that Ren can't hear? It's not like that. It's nothing, really. It's just something I want to talk to you about super fast, that's all. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. Come it on, Jonas. This is... Let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure, no problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edward. When the flag is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we... It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. What? The town? I like it. I like kitschy stuff. It's like the opposite of ugly, scratchy nature. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp uh, if thing nobody alive and lives well. here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave. <sighs> I forgot this was even here. So, this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like, feature of the island. Uh, okay, sure. It's just, uh, 102.3. Won't take long, I promise. Really, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year its under the command was of the Lieutenant one James recovered, Earl Platt. So they made it into on like October a monument. 1943, the crew were listed on the flag thing. Yeah, I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown, or else the flooding will take the whole ship. You know? <laughs> 
Yeah. A definite nightmare for me. So yeah, we brought the radio because in the cave you can hear a bunch of spooky crap. Really? Really? No way, come on. Alex is always- Oh, hey, this is the Parks and Facilities office. Didn't- Didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years, actually. Easy money, since nobody's allowed in the parks, and barely anybody here needs facilities. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something? She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call a local legend. She has a house on the- I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone, and actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please, Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of- Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. So, anyways, is it true or not? Are you not staying for college? Alright, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, man. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's... It's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or. <gasps> what? What's going on? Should I be scared? Uh, I hate nature. Stupid birds with their stupid flying and pooping everywhere. <laughs> okay. Hey, is this like a part of the base? This far out on the beach? I honestly don't know what that is. But remember, you can pull out your little radio and tune to that tour station if you want. But really, just be cool, alright, Alex? Be cool? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex, Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Uh, it was nothing. Yeah. yeah, what was it really, Jonas? If you have some deep, dark secret, I'd like to know now before we're officially housemates. I'll just talk to you later. Seriously. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? 
Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. Clarissa, That's... seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hmm. Oh. That's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Brent. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, Alex, where are you going? Yeah, we just got started. Oh, sorry. I'm not leaving. We're not going to play until you come back. Where's this gate go to? Uh, kitten, we're playing a game here. Be social and come play.